Hey there, it's Dr. A with the Learning Liaisons. Happy Monday to you. If obviously, you're watching this another day, then happy whatever day it is of the week. So uh, today's Monday, June 26, 2017, and I thought I'd record another quick little FTCE vlog video for everyone out there. Nothing too specific, just today, one of the titles of my a weekly FTCE workshop was Coping with Your FTCE Stress. You know, how do you cope with stress? Now, Regardless of your situation, whether you're a college student or a current classroom teacher or changing careers right now, um, believe it or not, there's a lot of stress associated with all of these exams, right? And I say that with a hint of sarcasm there because I am sure if you're watching this, you're fully aware of the stress. So if you have failed this test before and you're studying, 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 trying your best, paying a lot of money to the state to get it over and get rid of that stress, uh, you can do it. All right, if you're a first time test taker and you're thinking, I'm not stressed, this is easy, I'm gonna pass this. All right, well, I'm here to tell you that it's very important on how you cope with your stress. Now, in this time of your professional career when your requirements are to pass these series exams, whatever it is you're prepping for, whether it's GK, elementary ed, PK through three, professional ed, ESAW, English, doesn't matter what it is, okay, you need to alleviate stress by budgeting your time correctly all right now and also obviously having a study plan that coordinates with that time frame that you're using to study because if anyone out there knows me and, and been a part of my workshops or any other videos the worst thing and i say this all the time one of the worst things you can do is thinking that if i study for hours every day or dozens of hours a week, that's gonna to equate to passing, and it's not. It's all about coping with stress, budgeting your time, okay? And remember that you can pass and you will pass, but it's all about how you manage your time, okay? And on the field of coping with stress, remember, and this goes hand in hand with managing your time, you need to give yourself breaks from studying. You need to do fun things, whether it's your, with your family or friends. I speak to teachers on the phone all the time that say, I'm not gonna do anything or go anywhere until I pass this test. That is just gonna add undue stress to your life or your family or your friends and yourself, obviously, and it's not healthy. So always make some time for yourself, whether it's reading a book or going outside in the nice Florida sun, but Obviously, in June, we know right now with thunderstorms every day, but find those breaks of sun. You get the point. And do something outside, okay? Whatever it is that makes you happy, you've got to have happiness in your life. And I understand this is a stressful time in your life, but it's all about how you cope with that. Because if you keep piling on the study hours and keep stressing yourself out, it's really not going to do that much help for you. So, with that being said, how do you cope with your stress? Now, I'd love to hear your comments, so feel free to put those in the box below. And whether you're watching this on YouTube or you're seeing this video on our fa various Facebook pages uh, or in our private FTCE group, uh, feel free to put, I wanna hear your comments. What do you do to cope with stress uh, when studying for your FTCE exams, okay? And maybe you scream out the window or put the pillow over your head and just start screaming or punch something, not a person, obviously, maybe a punching bag. That's something that'll let out some frustrations, but better ways to cope with stress. So I'd love to hear your ways that you cope with stress with FTCE, but my main point of this babbling for a few minutes here is that it's very important for you not to let this consume your life. And I know you're sitting there like, oh man, I failed this test 10 times already. What's this guy talking about? You've gotta give yourself some breaks. You've gotta have good time management skills and a good study plan. Now, whether that's with my workshops or not, that's your choice, but you have to have some kind of plan and set of goals that you have, whether it's daily or weekly, to help you progress through to that ultimate finish line of passing your test. All right, so how to cope with stress is the theme here I wanted to discuss. So I'm Dr. Ray with the Learning Liaisons, and like I say in all my videos, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you could always email me at my address below, or you can text me anytime at 407-797-1499. It's 407-797-1499. And whether or not you 
enrolled in one of my courses or workshops or not, you could always text me, all right, because I'm here to help you guys out. So you guys have a great day, and until next time, let's go out there and pass that on the first attempt. You guys have a great day. Thanks.